For our project, we chose to do a Tesla stock pattern analyzer. The stock market has always been a place where people turn to make both long and short term investments. However, the stock market is an unpredictable place, making it hard to accurately predict the future of your investment. For this reason, we have turned to machine learning and other prediction models to help predict the approximate market value for a stock over a given period. Using these models, we're able to train the program based on previous trends to have a more accurate market value prediction. So the objectives are as listed for this project. This is the Tesla stock from 2010 to 2020. This is the data set that we got off of Kegel and that both of our papers reference in their models. So for our first paper, it's called Stock Market Prediction Using RNN LSTM. And the models it implements are the moving average, a linear regression, an autoregressive integrated moving average, and a long short-term memory, or LSTM. So for the moving average, we're pretty sure that paper one did this very wrong. We think that they just did a cumulative sum over the entire stock. Um, so what we instead did was just set a window size of 50 and put a moving average over our stock. This is the linear regression comparison uh, of close versus open. The only difference we made is changing our points to a scatter plot uh, so that there's more visibility in, in the chart. And this is the ARIMA comparison. So we're pretty sure that they used the entire data set as training data, and then they just predicted over that, and that's why it looks so good. So what we did was we only trained on half the data, and then we made a prediction on the other half, and that's what that blue line is. And this is the LSTM comparison, so you can tell it's uh, very similar to that of the paper. And so for root mean squared deviation comparison, uh, paper one provided us a root mean squared error value for all of the all of the models that it uses. And as you can see, ours are way better um, in, in the ones that they did wrong and comparable in, in the models that uh, we copied. For research paper two, it was called the Star Stock Market Prediction, a Comparative Analysis. The models it used were the linear model, a decision tree, a long short-term memory again, and a Facebook profit model. For the linear comparison, they're pretty comparable, and yeah. The decision tree, we noticed that they're able to predict the stock price spike in 2020, so we believe that they use all of the data as their training data, so instead we let the last 50 points be used for prediction. For the LSTM, it's again pretty comparable. And the Facebook profit model comparison, as you can see, they're pretty comparable again, except for in ours, we added an uncertainty interval because that's an option when you use the pr Facebook profit model. Uh, the paper didn't include a root mean squared deviation, but we decided to calculate ours because we did that for paper one. So for our main modification uh, for the project, our team decided to use a different data set for the models. So for the first paper, the data set we chose was the S&P 500 stock, or SPY, and for the second paper we used Google, which is Goog. To implement this we used the Yahoo Finance Python API, which is why finance, and to maintain the comparability of the models with the different data sets, we set the time frame for the data set to 10 years, which is the same as our initial Tesla data set. Um, these are all the additional modifications we made, but we've already mentioned them. So for our SPY stock, um, this goes from 2012 to 2022, and this is what we use to calculate our models for uh, paper one. So for our moving average with a window size of 50, you can see there. Uh, this is our linear regression, again, closed versus open, and we used a scatter plot. And this is our ARIMA with SPY. So we split the data in half, and the blue line is the predicted. And this is our LSTM. Uh, for paper two, we used the Google stock, and this is the data from 2012 to 2022. For the linear model, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the decision tree. This is the LSTM, where we split the data in half again. And this is the Facebook profit model, where we split it in half, and we used an uncertainty interval. Although machine learning is a very powerful tool when it comes to predictions, the prediction models used for this project do not seem to be the answer when it comes to predicting future stock prices. One of the main factors in stock value fluctuations is the result of human nature, which these models do not account for. In order for a machine learning program to accurately predict the future value of a stock, it would need 
to incorporate several external factors. Thank you.